Hey guys, how's it going today? Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I have in the past few days only done three things. The first of which is to pull this um, belt over here with our solid rocket fuel. The second of which is to remove all of our inserters. And the third thing that I did is I crafted a signal transmitter and a signal receiver. So in this episode, we are going to automate space science. That is going to be the big thing that we need to do. So to start, we are going to put down the signal receiver, okay? And this is going to be very important. We're going to put it a little bit out of the way because we don't want to, um, we really don't want to have it um, block anything that needs to be inserted into the, um, our cargo rocket silo. But we also want it to be close enough that it is convenient. So we're going to power this bad boy. And I don't think it takes too much. Two megawatts, not too bad. And then we are going to connect a green wire uh, to this electric pole so that from space we can um, look down here and see what signals are being received. And then we are going to change the channel. So each time that you send or receive a signal, and we'll plop this down so you can see, right? So here we get to select the channel so we can change the channel name and um, we can change the, the name of it. So for instance, if I called this like science, just for an example, and I call this default, right? And then uh, let's say that I, uh, let's see, how do we, how should we do this? We'll do this, okay? And let's say that I did this, right? So this is sending, um, it should be sending. Yep, so it's sending 10 barrels, okay? And it's sending it on the science ch on the channel science here, okay? And you can see that we're not receiving it. But if we change the name over here to science, we will be receiving those 10 barrels on our signal. So that's uh, kind of how it works. And what I like to do is I like to name it for where it's coming from and where it's going to. So in this case, it's going to be novice orbit. And we're going to send it to novice. And we're probably going to have a couple of these, so we'll rename those later. But this is just the first one. So that's our channel, is Novice Orbit to Novice. Okay, um, so that is that. Um, I guess the one other thing that I did do is I added a bunch of life support canisters. So we now have over an hour in space, so don't need to worry about that. And we should have all of the materials up there that we need. Um, let's just quickly grab, just in case, let's grab um, some more inserters. So we'll grab one stack of these, and I think that that will be good for us. Um, and maybe some long-handed inserters as well, just in case. So we'll grab a stack of those. Okay. So we should be good for space then. We still have all those space belts up there, and we're going to be crafting more anyways. And we are going to take the rocket up, um, because we have a bunch of stuff here that we want to take, and we have a bunch of stuff inside of our rocket, and we're going to add just a bit more rocket fuel just to be safe. There we go. Um, so that is gonna be our trip up. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually be um, managing this in such a way that we can take it directly from our landing pad and transporting it where it needs to go so we can automate um, the science. And let me just quickly grab uh, some steel so we can make um, one of these storage warehouses. Kind of uh, important for us here, I think. And we need some um, electronic circuits for that. There we go. Uh, let's see, what are we missing for this? Oh, 100 concrete. Okay, we have concrete. Okay. And there we go. So we have um, these storage warehouses. And um, these are just going to be used for uh, offloading resources very quickly. So, um, and then we'll filter it from there. Alright, so that's a warehouse. That's another warehouse. Very good, and then we're gonna fly up to space. Before you do it your second time, you're gonna have that landing pad set up in um, in orbit, and you don't wanna crash land again if you can help it. So we're gonna select the main science landing pad. And again, we're not uh, gonna manage a trigger just yet. So we're just gonna launch manually, and here we go.
right. And you can see we nicely land on our pad. We get 16 of these back, which is pretty nice. Uh, not to mention we get our capsule back. And we will also be getting back, um, or at least we used to get back, our cargo pods, but it doesn't look like they're in here. That's okay. So, um, in order to automate this, we're gonna have to do a couple things. So first, let's pick up these buildings, um, if we can, because we're gonna try and make this area over here our, um, our science area. There we go. And let's pick, uh, do we wanna pick this up? Let's see, 13, not the biggest of deals. And we don't have any water in there anyways. We do have nine loot barrels, which let's just drop off um, some barrels here so we can take these. Yeah, that's okay. All right. And then let's see, what do we have here? We have some more science, that's fine. All right, we're just gonna pick these up, that's okay. We're gonna have um, plenty of uh, new stuff to do. Okay, so let's just drop those out there. And we have a few more things that we need to get rid of, and then we can start some building. Okay. So this is our, our area over here. Let's just pick up these scraps. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna automate kind of going in this direction. It's not gonna be a bus or anything like that. It's not gonna be fancy just yet. But we're gonna put these um, advanced labs all the way over here. Um, and that's gonna be Actually, we're going to put them close to the uh, landing pad. Um, but first, we're, we are going to put down um, these two warehouses. So let's see. It's going to go like this. And then like this. Um, and then we're going to have filter inserters. Okay. And these filter inserters... Actually, let's move this over one square. Move this here. just so that we can split them evenly uh, for now. So uh, for now, we're gonna have all the sciences, we're gonna have them all come in here. So this is gonna have yellow science, blue science, green science, red science, and that's all, right? Just four? Oh no, we need military science. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna have all the sciences offloaded into here. And then this one, we are going to have all of the lubricant barrels. And let's see, what else do we want in here? Probably the water barrels as well. And then we'll do here, we'll do the heat shields. And the low density structures. And we'll, we'll increase the, the number of um, you know warehouses and stuff that we have around here later. This is just for now, again. Um, let's see. Low density structures here, and we need steel to get offloaded. Steel, there we go. And then let's see, what else? Can we craft any more of these inserters? We can. Well, we're gonna do a little bit of hand crafting, that's okay. Um, let's see, we also want um, all the electric motors over here. And those are right here. And then let's see, what else do we have in here? I guess here we will offload our, there it is, our rocket fuel. And that leaves glass, I believe, and that's it. Yep, glass, so we'll do glass here as well. Okay, very good. And then that means that over here, we are gonna do another um, thing. We are going to offload into a strong box. Here we are going to offload our rocket parts. Uh, so we'll say cargo, there we go, cargo rocket sections. So we're going to offload those. We're also going to offload the space capsule. There we go. So we got all of our saved sections here and our space capsule. Oh, and we need to do plastic. Uh, we can do plastic here, I guess. So, I think that is everything that we need offloaded and it will shortly be complete. Now, one of the things that we definitely wanna make sure happens is that this gets fully emptied. We do not want 
um, a situation where we have extra resources just sitting in here. Um, and it looks like we need to offload blue chips as well. So let's offload blue chips. We don't want to have a situation where we just have resources sitting in here uh, because that will prevent uh, further launches coming to this launch pad and that could just totally stop things. So we want to make sure that we're offloading into huge these huge containers um, that can definitely fit plenty of resources. So then we, what we want to do is we are going to want to uh, transmit this signal down to novice and we're going to put this a little bit out of the way again. So we'll put this over here and we will connect it up and we will add these, this green wire. There we go. And we're going to say novice orbit and that's going to go to novice. And as you can see, that's our other channel. And if we go down to the surface, so if we go down to novice here, we come over here, we can mouse over this and see that all of our signals are coming down successfully uh, to the surface. So we can see what resources we have up there. Um, so what we're going to end up doing is we're going to combine all of our uh, other resources that are in these chests all over the place into these warehouses so that we can then start distributing, distributing them correctly. And um, in order to do that, let's see, we still have extra science here. So let's just throw all our science in here. And then let's grab all of our space belt, which is pretty cool. Um, let's see. Our plastic bars are in here, so let's throw plastic in here. Steel is in here. And heat shielding. We're just going to try and get rid of some stuff. Um, we do. We are going to need some stone. So let's see. We'll put stone on this. Uh, actually, we, we crafted another inserter. So we can put stone on this one. Let's see. Resources, stone. There we go. So we'll put our stone in there. And we'll put um, some low densities in there. And I think that's pretty much everything that we want. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the labs right over here. And the reason we're going to have them so close is because we don't want these um, packs to have to travel too far in their quest to be researched. And we'll extend down this way. So what that looks like is we are going to have some insanely fast belt and let's see we are going to need some more inserters that are filter inserters so let's make some more of those and we need some steel for that let's grab some steel okay so this first one is going to be we're going to make it the rocket tech card this other one we're going to drop on the near side and we're going to make it the chemical tech card There we go. And so that's that. And then we're going to have over here um, some fast inserters going here. Very easy. Whoa, and we're going. Okay. And then um, we're going to need two more of these, and it's going to go the opposite direction. And then it's going to come down right here. And then we'll, I think that we have some fast undergrounds over here. We sure do. Okay, and then we're gonna have this underground come over here. And we're gonna have our long-handed inserters handle that. Okay, so that's that. And uh, on this, we're gonna have this drop on the near side and this is gonna do red cards. And this is going to do green cards. There we go. And we'll switch these to um, filter inserters and these things can't even grab it, it's so fast. We'll switch these to um, stack inserters later, but we don't have all those on hand right now, so that's no problemo. Okay, and then that leaves um, that leaves just the military tech cards, which we do still want to use. Um, so we're going to send those this direction. Um, it's a little bit messy. Actually, you know what we can do? We can pick this up is fine. And we can send it down this direction so that we don't that way we don't have to use another underground. And um, then we'll insert and insert. There we go. And then excuse me. And then this will come down 
right here. There we go. And that's going to be um, our military tech card. There we go. Military tech. Very nice. And then we will put onto this side of the belt our science tech eventually. So, our, our science tech. Our space science pack. We're going to have that come onto this side of the belt. So, um, how far does this reach? Um, an incredibly long distance, it looks like. Look at that thing. That is nuts. Anyways. So now the goal is to actually automate um, the space science. So, let's look at the requirements for this again. So we need cosmic water. We need stone, solid rocket fuel, space, transport belt, and processing units. So let's put everything that we can onto belts uh, for what we have already. And what do we have in here? Um, only thing we have in here that we're gonna need is solid rocket fuel. So let's try and use these belts if we can. Um, so this is gonna be solid rocket fuel. And I'm thinking, let's see, solid rocket fuel, there we go. That's all right for now. And we might change these inserter layouts and stuff in the future so that's like a little bit easier, whatever, and we can fit, I mean, we can obviously fit more over here, but it might be better to have science inserters here. But for now, that's fine. And then here, um, right, we're gonna have stone coming from the surface and processing units com coming from the surface. So we'll do those on a belt of their own. So it'll come like this. We'll put one on the near side, one on the far side, and this will be stone. And this one will be processing units. Okay, so this is gonna be for our uh, space science packs. And then, um, so that's two of the things that we need here. So then we just need, um, Oh, sorry, that's three. That's one, two, and three. So then we need to make space transport belts and cosmic water from here, um, which shouldn't be too hard. So let's uh, let's see how we're going to do this. Um, so we have over here, you know, our uh, all of our barrels, and we're going to have to figure out how to get our barrels back to the surface because right now they will clog up because we're just bringing them up, we're not bringing them back down, so we're going to have to get another um, launch pad up here and then work on you know, automating going back, but we'll probably just store all the barrels in a warehouse for now and call it good. Um, but here, we're going to need, uh, let's see, actually let's change this just slightly. We're going to have it going here. So we're going to have lube barrels, and then on the near side of the belt, we're going to have water barrels. Uh, here. Okay. And these are going to go this direction. And then we need our decontamination facility. And this decontamination facility, um, we will put... Let's do the science buildings first, right? So, we're going to have our science building right here. And... Let's see, how long do these take? 75 seconds. Okay. So if they take 75 seconds, um, we probably wanna do, and what speed do these craft at? 1.25. Okay. Let's do, we're just gonna do six, we're gonna do th this many, this seems fine. It's not, it's not a perfect ratio with our other sciences, but it doesn't need to be. Um, so we'll do that. And then we are gonna grab the space pipe that we have up here. And we're gonna connect all this up. And let's get rid of this stuff. There we go. Okay, so that's, we have four things that are gonna need to come in over here. All right, we'll do it like this. There we go, four things. And, um, one of those things is the rocket fuel. Uh, let's actually do it on this belt. So let's pick this up. Oops. Um, okay, let's again, let's pick it up and we'll put it back um, in here. Oops, other way around, there we go. And then this is what we'll actually put onto this belt here. Okay. 
And then we need uh, the long-handed inserters. There we go. And we'll do our uh, little inserters. Okay, there we go. How many buildings is this? Six? Six, nice. Okay. And then let's see. Um, we're going to grab a few loot barrels. We're going to drop them into here just so we can get some more transport belts. And then, um, so the rest of the things that we need for our space tran transport belts um, and the cosmic water. This is for the cosmic water. And we can do this, I guess. And we're going to have, let's put this building like right here, I guess. And let's see, we have, probably have a tank, yep. So we're going to output the cosmic water into this tank. And then we'll just pipe it over. There we go. This is going to make cosmic water. So for that, we need lube and water. So we're going to have, um, let's see, we're going to have some of these buildings. We're going to have one here, one here. Um, we might change this later, like this setup. But for now, this is fine. Uh, let's see, we'll belt this over um, shortly. Let's grab some of these belts. Okay, this is going to be lubricant barrel empty. This is going to be water barrel empty. That's all we need for now. So let's see, um, from here, we are going to need some inserters. There we go. Let's move this if we can. There we go. And we can actually put all the stone in here. Uh, let's see. We'll put all the coal in here. And then we'll put all the stone in here. And we'll also put all the sulfur in here. We don't have any specific use for it at the moment, but I'm sure we will at some point. And let's see if we have any more belts. We do have a few, and then we'll probably just finish it off with uh, some of these just because we can. There we go. Okay, so that's making cosmic water. So we now have cos cosmic water for all of these, which means that the final thing that we need to do is we need to automate these um, belts just like we do over here. And let's see, how fast is this craft? How fast is a belt to make? It is 10 seconds. So if we have six of these, we, we only need one machine making uh, belts. So this will be the belt machine. And this will be our um, lube unbarreling. So we'll put uh, another inserter there. And then this will be uh, the belts. And we will put a pipe there, and then we will output this onto a belt. And let's actually see if we can craft an underground. Uh, we need some more belt, unfortunately. So what we're going to do here is we're going to craft some more. We just need one underground for what we're trying to do, um, and then. In the meantime, we can work on getting, let's see, this can go like this, and this can go like this. Uh, oh yeah, we're making some over here. There we go. And I guess we can just finish it off with this. Um, let's just go around. Let's go around that. and then we'll uh, do some inserting and so this will uh, unfortunately we need to do one more right here and these belts are freaking cool looking and then uh, we'll do a long handed inserter here um, and then this is going to be um, motors. This is going to be low density structures, right? We have, yeah, low densities here. 
Uh, let's see. Low densities. And then this will be steel. Which is going to be over here. That's everything. So, let's see if we can... Grab some space transport belts. Okay, we can craft one of these, which is all I need right now. And um, then we're going to be able to finish our science. So let's do this. Let's go. Actually, I'm going to need a couple of these, aren't I? Oh, what? It only makes one, not two? Okay, that's bogus. Okay. Well, we have a bunch of yellow ones here, so we're just going to use these. Okay, there we go. And then this is going to come under here. Okay, there we go. That is... Now, that is space science automated, mostly. We're not automating the, the transport of the um, rocket yet, but that's the actual science itself getting automated and then the last thing that we need to do is actually hook it up to the output so we're going to put out some long-handed inserters here and we're going to use this yellow belt that looks freaking awesome there we go and let's see i guess we'll come here and do this You know what? We aren't going to do yellow here. We're going to do another inserter here that does yellow belt or yellow packs. And it's going to do it on the near side. Oops, the near side. Okay, here we go. And the reason we're going to do that is because. There we go. Then we can just run these belt this belt right here and that's our space science packs and check it out we have automated space science so now we have all of our packs um, including this chemical pack uh, from the surface and now we have our space science packs which are the first step towards unlocking a bunch of new and exciting things um, in space and how is this doing it's working slowly but um, it should keep up with these because these are incredibly slow at crafting um, so we should definitely be good on speed there. And how are we doing on cosmic water? We've got um, an output issue. So we need to deal with our barrels. Otherwise we're going to um, explode. So let's do this. We need um, something big. Let's grab a strong box, I guess. Yeah, I don't... Actually, we, don't, we might be able to craft that. So let's grab some steel. And I'm pretty sure I brought concrete up. I sure did. Because I was thinking ahead. And um, we can make another warehouse. So let's make a warehouse. And this warehouse is going to just go right over here. And for the time being, it is just going to hold barrels. We'll eventually figure out um, the process for getting rid of these uh, correctly. But for the time being, we just need somewhere to put them so that they don't clog everything up. And we'll do this with another inserter here. And then, let's see, we'll place this right here. Oops, not right there. Right here, perhaps. That looks good. Um... Is that all of the barrels that we have getting unloaded? I think so. So I think that this will suffice. Um, let's see. And eventually we'll be able to use this water ice, which will be nice. And are we low on power up here? Probably. Yes, we are. So what we can do, uh, you can see that this um, pylon can reach this whole area. So we have a few extra solar panels so we're just gonna clear this area of these rocks and stuff. And we're gonna put down as many solar panels as we can in the area, uh, just to help out with the power. And remember, we uh, we get a bonus for being in space. If we go to the Universe Explorer, we get 
um, power from solar panels. So each of these makes 900 kilowatts and each of these makes 3.7 megawatts, which is kind of insane. Um, so even just putting down those, we have boosted our power enough to uh, be in the green again. And we'll just add the rest that we have in our inventory. There we go. So yeah, that is uh, Space Science Automated. And we are working on researching this manufacturing. Um, and in the very near future, we will be able to add some more labs so that we can research more quickly. We're going to fill up on Space Science here probably pretty soon. And yeah, it's looking like we're already filling up on it. Probably because we aren't um, researching quickly enough with these, even though they are pretty fast. 4.75 research speed. Um, but, yeah, so let's see. This is... We're out of water, which is going to be a common issue. Um, so we've actually like built our little factory up here to make space science. And in the next episode, what we are going to do is we are going to work on sending down the correct signal... Uh, to novice of what we want to bring up. So right now we're just sending up the things that we have here Which is not what we want to do. We don't want to send down uh, the things that we have. We want to send down the things that we want to have um, That way we are able to fill our um, Rocket silo correctly. So um, that's gonna be a bit of a longer process and I want to explain it in a way that everybody can understand it uh, It's not gonna be like incredibly complicated, but it is gonna be a bit more in-depth So I want to go into that next time so thank you guys for joining. I hope you're enjoying this uh, space adventure and getting everything set up in space. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you on the next episode. Have a good one.